Last went to the mast, and then the, the boom would swing around right. underneath, and, wow. and it, was, it was anchored all those those places. They had steam engines to run the crane. They had several. They had a couple of mobile cranes that they could take off into the woods. One of the things they did was I, I call it range forwarding, but they would find a ledge way off in the woods, you know, a quarter mile or more away from like the main rail system, and they'd bring a wagon, steam drills, drill. Uh, two inch holes with the steam drills. Uh, they use black powder. They didn't use dynamite because dynamite destroys the stone and black powder um, just kind of shocks it and, and leaves it in nice pieces. But the, the dynamite pulverizes. Um, this mound here, this is all gravel. Sand and gravel. I dug a few places, but the, the name of the company was uh, Connecticut River Valley Granite and Mining Company. And I think this was non one stop shopping for uh, if you were wanting to build a road, you would come here. They would give you gravel for the base underneath. You could screen it and get sand for uh, above uh, above the base. You know that you set the stone into. They they set the stone on edge, long way, and uh, pound it in, and you you had you know you had a, a deliverable road right out of here. The road of schooners, the docks over there. And I forget, I think it was uh, 15,000 cubic yards of gravel left this, this spot. A friend, math friend of mine and I did the, did the math to figure uh, out how shovel. much it was removed. And, uh,